Welcome back people, we got some more fishing planet for you guys here again today. So we are doing the very last part of the fish monster mission. They've been dropping lots of new missions recently, which is pretty good because it's given me something to do and uh, if you're after XP and cash and the odd few couple of bait coins here and there, and then watch this, it's going to help you out. So we have to first, before we catch the fish monster itself, we have to first get the drowned mouse. Now, to get the Drowned Mouse, I did make a video on that yesterday, so you can check that video out for anyone who's interested. But this one is the Sander Bagasy Black Whiskered Monster, so we're going to catch the fish monster. I've already come down here in the same place, down at Southern Docks, and I've changed to a peak time. Um, I was standing there for a couple of minutes, so it's now 9.15. So, these Drowned Mouse, yeah, I made a video on that. Didn't take long to actually catch them, I caught them really quick, so... Um, yeah, this mission, if I catch this catfish pretty faster, then this is going to be a really insanely quick mission, <laughs> which isn't a bad thing. I've completed all normal missions and every fish monster mission on Fishing Planet. So if you guys are interested or stuck on any mission, I'm going to go over to this dark blue bit here because that's really deep by the looks of it. So yeah, if you're stuck on any mission, look across the channel, you'll find it there. I've made a playlist of just Fishing Planet to make it that little bit easier for you guys as well to um, to find what you are looking for. When there is updates on this game, I'll always download, install as quick as I possibly can. Always showing you new missions, showing you how and where to catch new unique fish, all the good stuff, showing you all new tackles and stuff. So if you're interested in Fishing Planet, that's definitely a good reason to subscribe. Turn notification bell on so you don't miss when we live stream. I'm going to be live streaming at some point this week as well. So keep an eye out for that. So this is the rod setup that I'm using. You don't have to use the best bottom rod on the game, but that's what I'm using. I'm using a hash 6 slash 0 6 op hook. And then I'm using a mono leader. Again, I'm using quite a heavy duty one just because that's, that's the rod that I'm using. But... You could probably do this with a lighter rod, but I'm just using this rod because this is what I have to hand. So I'm going to show you where I am on the map. That looks like deep water there, yeah. Okay, so I caught the dead mice around here. So I'm going to fish here because I'm pretty sure it's going to be around the same areas where I caught the dead mouse. But the problem is, is over there, there's not dark blue water. And I know that catfish like to be deep, so that's why I'm kind of here. Again, I will set a marker for it if I catch it, of course. So let's cast. I'm not going to go too far. So I dropped my anchor as well. Again, just because uh, I'm pretty sure I will be able to reel this in. I don't, I'm not expecting it to be humongous, but we'll see. So I'm going to leave it like that. We'll chill for a minute and uh, check it out. So yeah, I'm sorry for not live streaming as much as what I normally do. That is just generally, I've had a lot of things going on. I've been very busy and um, doing lots of different things. But I've been putting new content to the channel as well. So bear with me. I know some of you guys only like Fishing Planet and nothing else. But I've been putting lots of new content there. And it's been taking me a long time to edit videos. A lot longer than what it does playing a game, that's for sure. But <laughs> yeah, anyway, I've, I haven't been live streaming as much as what I normally do, but I still have been posting out those videos. And check out the hat, the unboxing video that we did. I don't know if you saw the video yesterday, maybe you didn't. This hat, I ordered it from Fishing Planet store, which is a pretty cool hat, actually. I really do like it. and just very disappointed that the delivery took two months to turn up because things just kept going wrong over and over. Not my side. They just kept saying things was disappearing and whatever. But, uh... I have to say that just so that way you guys know if you order there from yourself and it doesn't turn up straight away, don't get angry at me. It's the company themselves. I don't take any responsibility if you choose to spend your money or buy from them. But they do sell some quality gear. Some stuff, in my opinion, is probably a little bit overpriced. But this hat, though, um, it was $25. Was it dollars? Yeah, $25. So, um... <laughs> I almost paid the same amount for delivery. It cost me twenty twenty five dollars for the hat, but then twenty dollars for delivery. So um yeah, the delivery was not was not very good, was not cheap. So I'm gonna hold out a little bit. I'm gonna wait until maybe like near ten and if I get no interest then I'm gonna take it to the daytime and we'll give that a shot. So I'll bring you guys back when I get a bit of oh 
I'll bring you guys back when I get a bit of interest. And we're on. Wow, I changed so many hook sizes. I went down to a, a really small hook, even down to like a hash three slash zero. And kept on having interest, but nothing. So then I decided to take the hook size up. Tried seven, kept biting nothing. Eight, biting, but nothing happened. Now I put on a hook hash nine slash zero nine art hook. And now I've got some interest. Maybe this fish monster is a lot bigger than what I thought it was. I didn't think it was going to be any more than maybe about 50 pound. But looks like it's going to be a lot bigger than that. Anyway... I'm still in the same location, I will bring up my map and obviously I will set a marker for this. Uh, I did say I'd let you know, you could probably use a weaker rod, maybe, maybe you could, maybe like a heavy chaser. You could probably use a heavy chaser, but again, it's still going to take a short minute to reel in. You could probably even use a bottom sniper rod as well, but again, it's going to be quite time consuming trying to reel, reel it in, that's for sure. This is definitely a lot, wow. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys see that surface there, but yeah, this is definitely a lot bigger than what I originally thought it would be. And I am told as well, um, I was in a friend's room only, and one of my one of my friends <clears throat> did say that apparently he can catch this more than once as well. So <clears throat> if you want to catch it again, you definitely can. Wow, this one is really, really a good sized fish, isn't it? I'm going to guess and say it's going to be close to about 100 pounds, or it's got to be it. It might, it might actually even be, no, I reckon it's going to be close to 200 pound, not 100 pound, just because of how much it's fighting. This is the best bottom rod on the game, so for it to fight this much, it's definitely got to be a good sized fish. I'm interested to see what it looks like. I only got a short little glimpse of it. This one is really running. So I, I will show you my rod setup at the end as well. Just in case you want to use the same rod setup as me. I'd probably recommend to use the rod setup that I'm using. So it says up there, Drowned Mouse. I've got one. I do obviously have more, but the other bait is on the other rods. Unfortunately, when you're on a boat, you can only have one rod in your hand. I can't wait until one day they actually allow you to have a rod on the boat. That's going to, you know, one rod out and one rod in your hand. That would be awesome, even if it's just the one bait rod. There it is. There's the monster. Oh, my gosh. Wow. That's actually quite... Wow. 167 pounds. That's insane. Let's have a look at it like this. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, wow. That is absolutely... What a beast that is. It's so big, I can't even see my character. I'm actually going to quickly take a picture of that. That is that is some fish, that. Wow, look at the size of that. That's pretty good. I can't, I can't even fit it. I had to even turn my phone to the side. I couldn't even fit it all in the screen. <laughs> 167 pounds. What an absolute tank. So we've got 4,365 XP. I didn't use barbless hooks barbless hooks do give you more xp so if you used barbless hooks it would give you definitely a short more but 13,000 cash 106 what 13 wow well, 13,116 there you go we got there eventually <laughs> yeah that is um that is some fish so mission accomplished send a legacy black whisker monster congratulations with your monster catch here are some great rewards and as i said that is pretty decent xp not a bad amount of cash um for the fish and for the mission as well that's pretty decent and two bait coins and of course we got the trophy wall mount that's pretty good all right so i'm going to set a marker for it marking mode there it is i did try it in the daytime didn't have much luck in the daytime but Maybe you guys might. And as I said, I did dip just around here. That's where I got the drowned, drowned mouse originally anyway. So that's why I decided to fish down this way. And uh, obviously in the dark blue water area as well. Because that's where catfish hide out in the deeps. So you, you might be able to catch it other places. But that's where I caught it anyway. So this is where we are. I'm going to change to the daytime. Just so that way you can see a little bit clearer exactly where I am. And then... We are going to show you the rod setup. So this is where I am. Oh no, the fog. Okay, so I'm parked up near this crane. That's pretty easy to see. 
sort of closer to that little outpost thing there probably probably closer to that more than the crane so that bit there this is where I am and then I cast there when you do cast just to mention this so that way you guys know when you cast back reel so take your drag backwards and then reel out to a 60 foot that's what I did like that and then at 60 foot it's on the bottom make sure you can't see that your your weight there on the side if you can see your weight on the side it means it hasn't touched the bottom so definitely keep an eye out for that because that's quite important so this is my rod setup that I used and probably as I said you probably could do this with a heavy chaser you could definitely do it with a bottom sniper as well but it would just be quite time consuming to reel it in but this is probably the best setup that I would recommend to use is the Cazador rod and then there's the reel, the line, the weight, the mono leader. You can always pause it at any point. So that is it. That's all. The, that's the new fish monster missions complete. And as I said, to get the mice, I made that video yesterday. So you can always check that out if you're interested. But as soon as there is more missions, obviously I will do those when there's new updates. I'll let you guys know about them and buy the new DLC, getting into the new lake and checking it all out. So I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Any comments, leave in the comment section below and I'll try and get back to you guys as quick as I possibly can. We catch you people again soon for some more funny games. I am out.